It was exactly one year ago today that President Obama was sworn into office. So we thought we'd take a look back at some of the more memorable moments during his first year. Joining us now is Pete Souza, the official White House photographer with some never before seen images. Pete, good morning to you. Good morning, thanks for having me on. I want to start by looking at a photograph that you took of the president right before he took the oath of office. And as you look at this photo, as he looks at himself actually, how has the president's face changed in this past year? Oh, I don't know that it's uh, changed that much. He might have a, a, a few more gray hairs. I definitely have more gray hairs than, than he does. So he looks at himself there right before he makes the speech. Obviously, a great deal has changed in that year. He has had some successes and also uh, some struggles. I um, want to take you now to uh, a more recent photo, One, a, a striking photo that was taken before he accepted the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, there was obviously a lot involved in that, but it, he's writing here in a notepad, and that, that struck me when I saw that. Tell me what he's doing there and, and, and why that was so notable for you. This was uh, the, the morning that we left to go to Oslo, and he said that he had stayed up till 5 o'clock in the morning writing his speech. Um, and this is the speech. You can see it's all handwritten on this yellow legal line paper. Um, I was just astounded to, to, to see this. The president made a notable trip to Dover Air Force Base uh, when some service members who died overseas came back. Um, and you were on that trip as well, correct? I was. And we're looking at the photo. Tell us, tell us what you were thinking here and what you think he was thinking. Uh, I think this was one of the most touching moments uh, of his presidency thus far. The photo that we can't show you out of respect for the families is he walked up on the plane and viewed the 18 caskets that were in the plane by himself. He dropped a presidential coin on each casket and, and said a silent prayer. But out of respect for the families, we are not making that photo public. Understandable. Uh, Pete, uh, during the, uh, the first family's vacation in Hawaii over the holidays, that is when the terror incident happened aboard the uh, Northwest Delta flight. And you also have some pictures of how the president handled that. And even, is, is he talking to his kids about it here? No, he's, uh, that's Dennis McDonough on the right, his National Security Chief of Staff, and he's uh, hugging Malia, his daughter, uh, just before going on a conference call with uh, his team back in D.C. I think we have more photos of the president with his children um, over the past year. Uh, how, how, in your opinion, how does the president handle and juggle the responsibilities of father and president? Well, I think it's best left uh, for him to say, other, other than the fact that I think he really enjoys that he's able to go home and have dinner almost every night with his family, unlike on the campaign where he didn't, you know, sometimes he didn't get to see his family for uh, weeks on end. Uh, so I think he, he enjoys the fact that, um, you know, he gets to see his family and has dinner with them most nights. Pete, Pete final, finally here, uh, there, there, is a, there are some lighter moments, of course, during the past year, including a, a, a snowball-related moment. We had that big, <laughs> that big snowstorm that hit D.C. especially a few weeks ago. Tell me about this one. Uh, he was, he was uh, chasing Rom uh, down the, uh, the colonnade, trying to, trying to spot him with a snowball. Rom ran into the Rose Garden, which was knee-deep in snow, uh, so I think uh, the president had the last laugh on, on that one. All right, really quickly, Pete, there is actually one more I want to show. And it's this little boy touching the president's head. In, in 10 or 15 seconds here, tell me what happened and why that was so memorable. This was a, a departing staffer who had come in for a photo with his family. And the little boy had asked the president, he said, Mr. President, I just had my hair cut like Barack Obama. Can I see if my head feels like yours? And the president bent over and the little boy... Uh, felt his head. Wow. So kind of a humanizing uh, yeah. moment. Yeah. All right. Pete Souza, joining us from the White House this morning. Pete, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks so much.